Hello and welcome on Pflichtsender. Today we'll talk about the commutative property, which is also called the commutative law, from the Latin word commutare for exchange. It describes that arguments of a mathematical operation can be exchanged. So instead of writing a times b, you can also write b times a, and the result of these mathematical operations should be the same. However, for other operations, as for example division, so a divided by b or b divided by a, this change of the elements and their position in an equation does not allow the same result, which means that on the left side here, a divided by b is not equal to b divided by a. And for additions, it's the same as for multiplications, it's allowed to change the order of elements, but for subtractions, it's not allowed to change the order. So let's do some examples to show you that this is actually true. Instead of giving you the mathematical explanation of why this is true, I will just give you some example to show you that and when it is true that you can exchange certain elements and when you cannot exchange certain elements. Let's start with multiplications. So we put in for a2 and for b3, and then we have 2 times 3, which is 6, or 3 times 2, which is also 6. However, if you write 2 divided by 3 or 3 divided by 2, you will get different results. In fact, here, 2 thirds are 0 0.67 in decimal, which is not equal to 1.5. You can see here, indeed, for multiplications, it's allowed to change the order of the elements. However, for divisions, you will get different results, so it's not allowed to do that. The same is true for decimal numbers, so we can multiply 0 0.2 with 0 0.4 or 0 0.4 with 0 0.2. You will get the same result. However, when you divide one of these two numbers by the other one, you will not have the same result if you switch the position of the numbers. And that is the commutative property. Then for additions, it's the same again as for multiplications. You can switch the position of the numbers or variables and you will have the same result when you do your calculations, but for subtractions it's not allowed. So we can again put a equal 2 and b equals 3, and then 2 plus 3 is 5, 3 plus 2 is also 5, but 2 minus 3 is minus 1, while 3 minus 2 is 1. Additions allow the exchange of the elements, but subtraction does not. And if we look at decimal numbers, we see the same result, 0 0.2 plus 0 0.4 is always 0 0.6. However, 0 0.2 minus 0 0.4 is minus 0 0.2, while 0 0.4 minus 0 0.2 is plus 0 0.2, so 0 0.2, which shows again that the commutative property says, yes, it's allowed to exchange elements for additions, but not for subtractions, and that is the commutative property or commutative law. Thank you for listening. Until next time on Fleet Sender.